Hi guys, it looks like I'm at Dreamsicle Farms, not Butter Lake. My, uh, my orange teepee here has really changed the look of the place. I'm hoping that it uh, calms things down as far as heat. <clears throat> it's supposed to get in the hundreds, so yeah, let's take a look. But I, it's getting up to be like 100 here, so we gotta, gotta keep them cool the best we can. We'll see what happens. Sunday, July 9th. Done some harvesting. I've grabbed some purple beans. Took down a bunch of kale. Bunch of purple string beans. This potato's thriving. That potato's thriving. I believe that's another bean. Butter Lake Farms, I'm in the greenhouse at Sepulveda Garden Center and my cucumber seeds look like they've actually sprouted. Oh my God. This is amazing. This is what insect netting looks like. Though I understand it helps with bugs, hence the term insect netting. More insect netting. This kind's yellow. So here it is again. Shoot first, ask questions later. I filled these two guys up with wood chips. Turns out wood chips are really bad for roots. So I took the mosquito netting off. Let's see if I can get some bees to come in here. I'm gonna leave uh, the mosquito netting off overnight. Come back tomorrow morning and see what happens. The insect netting is still on the other side. I did nine little seeds in uh, in this guy to see if we could get all the different plants growing in one square foot. String bean harvest. They are purple. July 15th, 2023. Butter Lake Farms. <sighs> Today, I took my cu cucumber seedlings and planted them into pots in Butter Lake Farms. I see I've taken the dreamsicle shade and lowered it as far as I could. I think that's what I'm supposed to do when it gets over 100, which it's supposed to be. So I've also moved all the plants around into a new configuration I like. Tall guys under the white cloth, big guys under the yellow mosquito cloth. Cloth is generous, it's netting. So we'll get to work on it now. Cucumbers, I put three in each pot and I'm gonna leave them under the netting until they grow enough until I can put in a, uh, a layer of mulch along with a, uh, some type of trestling trestler. And this, I completely used cardboard and that black um, stuff that they give away for free here. We'll see how it works. Every time I wet it down, the, the, it's a lot of wood chips, so they stay dry. So it's going to need a lot of soaking. But at the bottom of this guy, I filled it with um, cardboard. And I'm sitting it in those, I'm sitting the pots in those, uh, those buckets down there. Let's see what happens. These babies were growing in the greenhouse. And they are babies, and I did take out uh, some of them. These are the guys that didn't make it. Thank you, cucumber seedlings. We hardly knew ye. So Sepulveda Garden Center in the morning is a pretty great place. Look at all that flowery flowering of the flowers. Crazy. Lady yesterday saw me walking with my harvested kale and she cornered me and gave me a bunch of her cucumbers. It was really nice of her. Look at the farm this person has. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but there's a giant zucchini down there. 
It's just delightful. I just love all this stuff. Probably good that there's not chickens. I like chickens, but they do like to eat. But whatever, this is as bucolic as it gets here. <laughs>